Subsurface scattering is a pretty simple effect to explain. It's the internal color that sort of shines through when you put a light against a surface. So you can see an example here. When you put a flashlight up against your hand, you actually see the internal color of your hand as well as like it's mixed with the light color. So you get the center is like that nice red and then the edges are a brighter yellow because it's thinner there. And that's all subsurface scattering really is. Now we can't do like super crazy like perfect subsurface scattering. We can only do like an estimation. So that's what this is. So if I make the subsurface color red and then I look for the sun, it's right there. Go behind this surface. You'll see it does nothing. And that's because the light strength is at zero. So if I set the light strength to one, you'll see it starts to glow red because that's what we've defined as the internal color. So you can change the color to whatever you want. It can be even white. So we're gonna leave it at red. And then the light strength, as I said, adjusts how strong the light shines through it. The light spread is how difficult it is for light to actually spread out from the, the origin point. So you can see here, the sun just shines this, up, shines this like small circle around it and it fades out from there. But if you set the light spread to zero, it becomes really easy for that light to just spread all throughout the surface. So a lot of the time you're gonna wanna play with this, see what looks good. I would suggest just throwing a directional light in the scene with like a one brightness and then that's a pretty good starting place to test this. Light distortion is a representation of the way it sort of shows up around the edges of an object. So in that finger picture, you see it's really bright around the edges, but it's not so bright in the middle. It still exists, but it's not so bright. So when you use the um, light distortion, it makes it so that the light gets distorted to the edges. And you can play with that, and then you can adjust the light spread to tighten that up if you really want. You can change the color still. Whatever you want. The thickness is... Uh, you, you can make a thickness map. I have another video that explains that. I'll link it in the description. But you can generate a thickness map so that you know where the thicker parts are on your model. So say you had an ear and you wanted to make like parts of the ear really thin so that light would shine through them, you can do that. Uh, I'll show you an example with just some random texture so you can see how it works. But um, you're not going to get the full effect unless you really generate a proper thickness map for your model. You can see that the white parts are the thickest and the black parts are actually the thinnest. So the black parts of your texture are going to shine more easily through and you can use the thickness mod to adjust that. So it's basically just adding or subtracting thickness to the texture. It works pretty well. And that's it for subsurface scattering. If you have any questions or you want to learn more, feel free to join the Discord. There's a link in the description below. Thanks for watching.